the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed barakah for us in the early morning time as well. Okay? That's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. بُورِكَ لِأُمَّتِي فِي بُطُورِهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed barakah for my nation within the early morning times. So there's a special type of barakah that happens at the early morning times. Now this is a tip for some of you that the Fajr time is a time where most of the people in the household are going to be sleeping. So those mothers who are working at home, perhaps working from home with a, a business that they've made, a model that can work from home, if they do it at that time, everyone is sleeping, perhaps even the husband is sleeping, right? Inshallah, the husband prayed Fajr and then went to sleep, right? Or even better yet, the husband is also up after her. But this time, there's no distractions really. And Allah has placed a special type of barakah during this time. Anything that you want in your life to be mubarak, use this early morning time. Especially the time from after Fajr till Tulu al shams till the sun rises. That is the most mubarak time. That is one of the most mubarak times for a person to do anything. Whether that be memorizing the Quran, whether that be whether that be reading something, whether that be business even. That's why the narrator of this particular hadith, Sakhr al-Ghamidi, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he realized the potential of this hadith. So in the morning time, he would do his transactions after Fajr. Early, early morning times when all the merchants in the world are sleeping. And sometimes I go to stores and to, you know, talk and pull the leg of the, the merchant. I will say, why don't you open your store up in the morning? Of course, Fajr, where I come from, it's a, it's a little bit later. So I, I say, why don't you open it up around 6 o'clock, you know? This is 6 o'clock, no one will be here. Then I tell them this hadith. Even if no one is here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless God. Who's going to be there even in the Mennonite society? People are sleeping. Sometimes in Medina, Fajr becomes really early. Some people are going to go to sleep. Not everybody is going to, going to be practicing this. He realized to practice. So in the morning time, he would conduct all of his transactions right in the early morning. So the Sahaba, they said, that فَكَثُرَ مَالُهُ وَأَثْرَى His wealth became uh, very much and he became very, very wealthy because he would conduct all of his business right in the early morning time. To a degree that some of the narrators, they said that he had so much money that he didn't even know where he should put it. Like he didn't have enough room in his house to keep his money. Now, of course, nowadays we have banks, but at that time they had to keep monies and, you know, money in their houses. So he didn't have room in his house to, to place money. And normally people of wealth have big houses as well. So you can think of that. This person had made so much money simply by doing his transactions at early morning time and attaining that barakah. So anything that you wish to do in your life that you want to have barakah in, do it in that early morning time. Especially the time that is between the end of Fajr Salah until the sun, the sun rises and even after that the barakah. But that is the really mubarak time for a person to do dhikr, for a person to even conduct business after he's done the adhkar of the morning and so on and so forth.